Hello Twin Flames and welcome to the DM to the F reading for Wednesday. So I'm going to bring in the Divine Masculine Secrets of the Soul today. So thank you angels. What's in the Masculine's heart and soul today? What do they want to confess and express? What do they want to confess and express? So he's saying to you today, when I am sick, it's you that I want. So I do feel some of the masculines, not all of them, but some of them are still going through heavy physical symptoms to do with ascension, to do with making changes. Now, what I'm feeling is this, okay? As we move forward towards 2023, and as we transition in January from the energy of the water tiger in the Chinese zodiac new year into the energy of the water rabbis, there's going to be a significant jump. And the rabbit is bringing in this rebirth energy. So we're not going to be able to take forward really past February anything that isn't serving us. We're not going to be able to take anything forward anyway and feel good because, you know, these things that don't serve us. Obviously, we're going to take things with us into February, but things that aren't serving you. So, for example, the masculine's in really toxic situations, whether that's because they are doing an addiction or you know, they're in lots of fear or they are in a karmic relationship that isn't serving them or they, they hate the job or there's something detrimental going on. If they try and move that forward past February, they're going to become very sick. And, you know, this isn't me saying all oh, the masculines are going to, you know, be ill and be in hospital. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is they're going to feel drained, tired. They're going to have aches and pains and they're just not going to feel very well. If they are trying to continue to live a lie and everything is preparing them now to release those things. That's why we're going through such heavy ascension symptoms. That's why we've been going through so much purging and releasing emotional and physical. And it's like your masculine is very aware that he's going to be going through a radical change. And he's saying to you, when I'm sick, when I'm not very well. When I'm feeling emotionally sick too, because this isn't just about feeling unwell in the body, it's about feeling emotional and sick in the mind, as in, I, I can't do this on my own, I'm struggling with these things, I feel sad, upset, depressed, miserable, it's you they want, he's saying it's you I want you in those times, I want you holding my hand and mopping my brow, and a lot of the times the maskers will push you away, if they are dealing with something themselves, you know, my masculine does it, if he hurts himself, or he's not feeling very well, he tries to shut down, but I don't let him, you know, because I'm there for him, and union, it's different, but, you know, he may be pushing you away, but all he really wants to do is run into your arms, so all you have to do is just be around, you know, you don't need to force yourself on him, and say, oh, let me help, let me do this, let me give you this, just be around, so all you have to do, it doesn't mean you're waiting around, it means you are around in, in your power, living in the light, being this authentic light and being the, you know, this, this autonomy, that's the word they give me, being this, this beacon of health and radiance and light. So when they are sick, they want you and they want you to know that. So, you know, that's kind of preparing you for what's ahead. When I am at home, I am imagining that my home is with you. So wherever he is right now, if he's working at home, if he's off sick, if he's spending more time at home, remember we're coming up to Christmas time and we've got Thanksgiving tomorrow. So, you know, if your masculine is at home tomorrow for Thanksgiving, he's wishing he was with you. You know, he's saying, I wish I was with you. So I feel that someone definitely needs to hear that if, you know, you're not spending Thanksgiving together if you're not spending it together, if you wonder what they're doing, he's saying, when I'm at home, I am imagining that my home is with you, so that's all he's thinking about right now, the future, visualizing the future, and this is also creating physical things that, he, you know, he needs to deal with and heal, I do with you, and this means he wants to do life with you, he wants to connect with you, he wants to talk to you, and he wants to commit to you, you know, I do with you, so it doesn't matter if he said, oh, I don't believe in marriage or I'm never getting married again or being there, done that or any of these things. He's saying, I do with you. I want to do that with you. I want to go to that place with you, explore that thing with you. They're giving me fear. But I also feel this fear is being released, especially between now and 2024, around commitment issues, about marriage, 
I dream about waking up with you and I live to fall asleep with you. So he's dreaming about falling asleep in your arms and he dreams about and lives for the moment when he can wake up in your arms. So he's saying, I dream about waking up with you. That's what I want. And I live to fall asleep with you. Isn't that powerful? And that's how I do with you. This is about commitment. Everything in his mind right now is moving towards commitment. Look, always and forever, eternally together. So he's reminding you that you are what? That you are eternal beings, that you are always and forever. And nothing can stop that from happening. You know, in The Princess Bride, the quote there that I love to use is, death cannot stop true love. All it can do is delay it for a while. And I do know there's many of you watching this who have lost your twin. They've transitioned and you're connecting with them on the other side. And that's because you were always and forever. You know, it goes on, even though you may not be physically together. You know, you know, you have a bond that's more than the physical of being together and you feel them physically anyway. Separation cannot stop true love. All it can do is delay it for a while. Blocking them them blocking you cannot stop true love. All it can do is delay it for a while. So trust in that delays are necessary for growth. Don't ever let me go. So he's saying, please don't ever let me go. Please don't move on, be with somebody else. I couldn't stand it. Everything is a dress rehearsal before you, the main event. And I talk about this constantly. You know, everything that's happening before he's with you in union is sorting out his unfinished business. It's like he's been regenerated for you. And I spoke about that in the 200 video the other day when I spoke about Doctor Who and, you know, River Song knowing that the Doctor Who, Doctor Who version of the Doctor was still being created. So your masculine is still being created for you. Everything before you is just a dress rehearsal. They have to go through that. Think about when you go to the theatre and the show's perfect, isn't it? or it should be, but it's, it's a perfect version. He didn't start off like that. They had to make mistakes and fumble the words and trip up and, you know, put the wrong outfits on maybe, get the right people for the roles, you know, go through the, the casting to create the right situation, the right chemistry. So everything is aligned and orchestrated perfectly for the main event, which is your permanent union. And I'm already on my way. So your mask is saying, look, I'm already on my way. You may not think I am. You may not see it. But I'm already doing my work. I'm already on my way. I'm much further ahead on my journey than you even know. So this is a very positive, powerful message. And with this energy that's coming with Sagittarius, everything is moving forward. Everything. That's why there's so much inspiration to get things done, to make a move, to make changes. You know, it's like this power has come in to push you where you're meant to be and your masculine saying don't doubt me I'm already on my way I hope this helps have a great day and I'll see you soon